What's up? What's going on? Once again, YouTube, it's Sash Dragons back at it again. And today we're going to talk about um, morphs, different colors um, of bearded dragons, and getting a little more in depth in the type of um, genetics and morphs that we have here at Sash Dragons. So, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody that viewed our last um, videos and commented and subscribed. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. If, anybody's ha if anybody has any more ideas or want to know anything else, we, we're more than welcome to do um, videos on anything that you guys are interested in knowing, getting to know. Um, feel free to ask questions. And um, I'll do my best to um, comment on each and everybody's um, response. Anyway get to the topic of the conversation first dragon that we're gonna have to show is the classic bearded dragon which is usually a earthy tone um, bearded dragon there's no special coloration in them it's just regular like sandy color little greenish sort of earthy tone this guy right here he's one of my oldest bearded dragons and my very first and the sweetest dragon you could ever know his name is Peanut, the infamous Peanut. As you see, he was head bopping because he sees the ladies and he wants to show off for them. That's also something the bearded dragon does, the male, when he wants to impress the ladies. He tends to do his little head bop or do a little stomp. And um, that gets the ladies' attention right now. All the ladies are looking at him and waving. Anyway, his beard will tend to get black whenever he's doing that. He'll either do it for for males to ex um, express his dominance or for the ladies to get their attention and and stuff like that so peanut here he's weighing in close to 500 grams um, he's kind of going into a shed right now but as you can see he's a regular regular scale um, bearded dragon he's beautiful he's nice in size he's about Grown bearded dragons can get about 16 inches long, more or less, from head to tail. Um, bearded dragons could get bigger, but they're German giants. I'm only going to explain the, the morphs and the genetics I do have at hand. There's also more out there which I don't have, but I will just explain what I have to give you guys more in depth um, of what we're talking about. So, this is a regular bearded dragon. As you can see, it's peanut. It's a big guy. Try to get a little in so you can get a closer view of him. As you can see, he's a regular scale. As you can tell, he has a lot of spikes on him. That's how you can tell the difference between a regular scale bearded dragon and leatherbacks. Is the way the scales are formed. Leatherbacks, the back of their, as explained on their name, the back of their bodies is a lot smoother. They also have scales, but it's a lot smoother. And as you can see with Peanut, he has kind of the earthy tone. Nothing special. He's not a hypo. Or he's not a trans. And I'll get I'll explain that a little more later on in the video with bearded dragons that I have. This he's a male, as you can see, he's head bopping. He's a beautiful guy, he's nice and healthy, he eats good, he goes into his brumation. Make sure he's perfectly healthy. His head and his body right now is currently in shed, but this guy right here, we love him. He's just such a character and he's a good guy. So now I'm gonna put him back and we're gonna get into our stud, the father to our babies right now that we have available. Just give me one second. This will be quick. And this guy is um a bearded dragon full of genetics so as you can see this guy has more color he's a tangerine leather hypo trans leatherback so as you can see he's also very long big in size he's a little over 16 inches so he's a little bigger than peanut his head is also a lot bigger but um how you can tell the difference between him his genetics from peanuts it's pretty obvious he has solid black eyes so that's a trait that the translucent bearded dragons tend to have they'll have the solid black eyes 
majority of them, not all of them, the majority of them will have the solid black eyes. It's an awesome look with the Breeder Dragons. I love it. It's something that I just love about them. And the hypo is basically short for hypomelanistic is they don't tend to have dark coloration in them. So most beard, all bearded dragons that are not hypo have black nails or have a black streak along the nails. With the hypos, they have all clear nails. So all their nails are clear. And the trans, when they're babies, their, be their bellies are usually see-through. As they get older, that trait tends to fade away because their skin th tends to thicken up. And also, the spikes on the on the body and also on the head or wherever they have spikes tend, tend to have a little more translucent see-through um, trait to them. So, give you guys a quick rundown. I wish I could have more in depth, but you know, YouTube does give me a time frame to do all this. So, as you can see, his eyes are solid black. I wouldn't say black, it's more of a darkish brown, but in the beauty world, say black. And if I could get a clear view, you could see his nails. His nails are clear. He don't have the see-through belly anymore for the simple fact he is not a baby and his skin thickened up. But when he was a baby, this was all blue. You basically seen his insides is right right through his skin. And this guy right here, if you've seen any of our babies, they got his size pretty much. And they got his beautiful colors. We're going to show the mother of our babies in a minute. But this guy right here, he's a stud. Definitely proven breeder. Very good, healthy, nice and big. And this is our guy Jax, by the way. Once again, quick view on how he looks. And let's move on. Okay. So the next. The next one we're gonna go to, we're gonna touch on the females. Now this is Nefertiti, and she's currently in shed. But she's also a little smaller, she's not fully grown. She's more, you could say a sub-adult or juvenile. She's juvenile hitting the sub-adult area. And she's a beautiful, regular scale, red, hypo, het trans, bearded dragon. So, whenever people see that they have het before whatever genetics, that means it's in their bloodline, but it's not dominant or it's not showing in the dragons, but it's in their bloodline. So there's a possibility that their offspring can carry the genes or when she has her offsprings, they could come out with the actual um, genetic. So, I'm gonna get it quick and simple. I explained what the hypo is, is the clear nails. Um, not no dark colors in them. Um, the trans is also the dark guys, which she don't have. She's a little scared right now because she sees the big guys, and she's a little scared right now. So if I could get her to calm down, okay, 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 okay. She's just trying to run away. Relax, mama. <laughs> she sees the guys and she's scared. Okay, okay. Her skin is just coming everywhere because she shot. She's shedding. She's very scared, but let me get you closer. She's actually one of our reds. Oh, come on. If she could just stand still, you gotta keep them good because they'll jump off. But she's definitely scared of all the males, so I'm just gonna do this real quick as possible. Nice, beautiful reds. Her head looks white because she's in shed. Nice, beautiful red. But she's scared, so let me put her back. I don't wanna keep her out here too long. And now I gotta sweep up all her shed skin that just came off. So now, we're gonna get deeper into genetics. And we're gonna deal with, right now, zeros. So zeros are really cool. They get the name because they have zero colors in them. So people be, get confused between zero and hypo whiplets. So the difference between them two are Zeros um, are more in a grayish, darker grayish tone, and they have the black shoulder pads. All bearded dragons come with black shoulder pads. The only ones that do not come with it are whiplets. That's how you can distinguish the two. 
So with her, once again, don't want to have the time running up. We're going to do this pretty quick. She's a, a head, let me see again. I have to look at her because we got so many. She's a head trans, no, head hypo trans um, dunner zero. So she's a dunner. The dunner traits also, dunners tend to be a little bigger than the average bearded dragon. And um, dunners usually have different patterns along their body. Since she's a zero, she has zero patterns. And also, a way you could tell um, a dunner from a regular bearded dragon, underneath their beard, the spikes tend to go in different directions. If you look at any regular bearded dragon, all their spikes go in one direction. And the dunners have to tend to go in different directions. So this right here is Shadow. I mean, excuse me, Shadow. I don't know. This is the second time I said it. This is Storm. So Storm is a beautiful zero. And as you can see, she has the black shoulder pads. And a little later on, we're going to show you how the hypo whiplets is the difference. So, and you can see the black eyes. This is the beautiful Storm. And she's one of my favorites because her personality is very chill, laid back. She's not afraid of nothing. Very good girl. Okay. Now, let me get my boy Bones. A lot of people want this guy. But a simple fact, he's just a beautiful guy. So this is the Hypo Whiplets. So now, people say, what's the difference between the Zero and the hyper whip blitz. Well, once again, like I told you, see, no black shoulder pads. Whip blitz never have shoulder pad, the black shoulder pads. Kind of a um, no color also, but it's different kind of whip blitz. This is the hypo, so the hypo whip blitz tend to be more on a wider, um, wider grayish um, tones. But as he gets bigger, he'll get a lot more whiter. And this guy right here is bones. He's still a baby. Um, I gotta grow him out. All our dragons, we've got even smaller than this. We got them pretty much tiny babies, weeks old, and grew them all out. Just so they know they get the handle of um, out care and stuff like that. So everybody, this is Bones. I'm gonna show you another, another kind of whiplets. And this is our big girl. And future breeder, Gia. So Gia is also a whiplets. But as you can see, she's not hypo. So her, her colors are more on the sandy tone. And as you can see, she has no black shoulder pads. And she's a hypo, she's a head hypo trans also. So she has, if I could get you a close up on her spikes, they very see through. And as you can see, she got the dark color eyes. Almost like an alien look, but I love it. And she's a leatherback. By the way, I didn't explain leatherbacks. You see how smooth the back is compared to all the spikes, how um, Pina had it? Leatherbacks tend to have smoother spikes. So this is Gia, everybody. Now, we're going to get to the citrus. So the citrus yellows are more yellowy on a yellow tone let me get her in the frame and she's a hypo trans so she has both traits so she had the clear nails along with the black eyes uh, her skin already thinked up so she won't have them to see through but she's also going into shed so her colors are a little harder but if you look at her tail she's gonna have a very oh she sees the guys too She's going to have a very um, yellowish tone. This girl is going to be a beauty and she's going to throw out some beautiful citrus babies later on. But let me put her back because we're coming up upon the 15 minute mark and I'm going to try to get as much as possible. So now, this is the Dunner. We showed you a zero Dunner. Now, remember I told you that Dunners have different patterns. So this is a pattern usually what a dunner consists of. Instead of having all straight lines on their tails, dunners have lines like this. And their patterns are different along the body. And like I said, this girl, she's beautiful too. She's a future breeder as well. 
and she's grown a lot since we had her and she got beautiful patterns this is oh Malibu was the yellow one I'm sorry I didn't give you guys the name and this is Chanel and Chanel is gonna be a beautiful um a beautiful future breeder and the Dunner trait is a dominant trait also so we're gonna have Dunner babies just because it's carried along in her genetics let me see what else I could bring now everybody this is the Silkback so the Silkback unlike any other dragon has zero scales absolutely no scales if you touch them they feel like skin and they have a lot of shedding issues so people that do have um silkies I uh, recommend them for more the experience bearded dragon owners because they do tend to um, need a lot more care and um, you need a lot more baths for them and um, lotioning them up and different UVB a lot a lot of um, not as strong but um this right here is Goldie she's one of my um clutches my whole backs from Jax and my girl butter and we just decided to keep her because we didn't have a silky and she's gonna be the only one that we actually do keep we actually have about five or six for sale if you guys are interested you could go to our Instagram on Sag Dragons and we could give you a good price and give you a shipping call and we could get you guys these dragons as soon as next day if it's between Monday to Wednesday because those are our shipping days. We do not ship during the weekends due to um, the animal safety. So this is a Silky, and she's a hypo as well because her dad, which was Jax, was a hypo. But she didn't come out with the with the trans um, genetic, which is the black eyes and the clear skin. But she has it, so she's a het trans because of her daddy. So that's a quick little rundown on our babies and what bearded dragons we have once again we come in upon the 15 minute mark I'm sorry my editing ain't the greatest for um, YouTube but this is all li um, shot live and whatever raw and uncut we do we just put it out there we're not trying to polish anything up too much we give it to you the way it is and um I want to thank everybody for viewing us. Subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Again, once again, it's Sash Dragons. And if anybody have any more suggestions on future videos, feel free to get, throw them in the comments and we'll get more. Let me show you guys how it's spelled. So you guys, when you go on YouTube, it's Sash Dragons. S-A-J-D-R-A-G-O-N-S. Thank you once again, and have a good afternoon and a good night, everybody.